This legendary camera combines timeless design, exceptional optics, and innovative features to capture breathtaking images. With its manual focus precision, intuitive controls, and enduring craftsmanship, the Leica M11 has become my go-to camera for day-to-day -day photography. I wanna talk about why I love this camera, why I can't stand this camera, and if this camera is right for you. The past two weeks, I've had this camera everywhere with me, from taking it to the Oregon coast, shooting my sister's graduation photos, and exploring different parts of the Pacific Northwest with friends and family. I've put this camera in a variety of different situations, and I wanna show you my experience with it. So come with me, shoot some photos, and let's chat about the Leica M11. This past weekend, me and my fam found ourselves at the Oregon coast. The Oregon coast is one of my favorite places Places ever and we actually got some sunshine which usually doesn't ever happen. We spent the weekend eating good food, relaxing, and going to some of my favorite places that the Oregon Coast has to offer. Oh before we start the video look at my shirt. Our first night on the coast we made it just in time to catch sunset. First thing I did was head down to the deck and capture some images. I love the Oregon coast and when I was in the hospital it was the first place I couldn't wait to get back to. Real quick I want to talk about the focus system on this camera. It is an autofocus so how does someone actually hit focus with the M11? Well, this camera is a rangefinder, meaning that there's an eyepiece you look through that shows you your frame lines, and in the middle of those frame lines is a patch that shows you two slightly overlapping images. When you move the manual lens focus ring, you slowly match the patch up, and when the patch is matched up, well, your image is in focus. Side note, if you're ever in Lincoln City, Oregon, be sure to stop by Galucci's Pizzeria. Could be the nostalgia, but for me, it's the best pizza ever. We got some pretty spectacular light shining through the windows at the beach house, so I wanted to try to capture it as much as possible, and the M11 did not disappoint. Look at that glow. Every time I took a photo, I was blown away by the colors the M11 was picking up. Everyone meet Wolfie and Killawa. These two dogs are best friends and worst enemies. Those were actually how loud the frogs were during the sunset. As the sun set, the light kept getting better and better, and the Leica M11 was loving every minute of it. This was for sure the best sunset we had the whole time at the coast. Next morning, we started out pretty slow, as do most mornings on the Oregon coast. This was the second day in a row that we got some sunshine, and for Oregon, that's a treat in itself. Even in bright daytime light, where other cameras would crumble and be too sharp and crunchy, the M11 gives a soft, glowy feel to the images. We got way too much seafood for four people and had a seafood bake. Fresh crab, lobsters, and prawns. The sun started to set for the second night in the beach house, and I stepped out of the deck for these moments. This is probably my favorite photo from the entire weekend. It feels a bit surreal seeing a deer and a human just standing there face to face chilling like the way they are. Plus the landscape and the light make it incredible for a background. The rest of the night was very chill. We watched the NBA finals into the sunset. Our last morning on the Oregon coast, we decided to head out to Cape Kwanda, which is basically an Instagram landmark at this point. Unfortunately, the past two days, weather caught up to us, and instead we got the usual... It is so windy. I still took some time to capture a few images here. It's crazy the colors that the M11 picks up. The blue and oranges from this camera are second to none in my opinion. Okay, maybe the Canon 5D Mark II, but that's for a different video. Also, peep the falling cane, this is pretty much my everyday life now. <laughs> As we packed up from Cape Kwanda, we stopped by a local coffee shop I hadn't been to before. I would give their latte a solid 7 out of 10, nothing too crazy, but good coffee for the coast. Speaking of coffee, since we are heading home from the beach, I do have to edit this video, so how about we take a coffee break? I'm not gonna lie, I'm a pretty big coffee snob. As you can see, I have the Breville espresso machine. Top class has saved me thousands of dollars when I'm going to Starbucks and other coffee shops. My go-to beans are La Colombia or La Colombia, whatever you wanna call them. I also love local coffee beans from Portland, Oregon, like Bastion and Stumptown and Cova and Proud Mary. Coffee brands, if you wanna work together, hit me up. Let's make a commercial or something like that. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room. And yes, it is a massive elephant. That is the price tag of this camera. This camera is going anywhere from $8,000 to $9,500. Shame. 
That's insane. Don't get me wrong, I will be the first person to tell you, even though I own this camera, that that is a ridiculous price tag for a camera. But there's a very specific feeling when shooting photos with this camera. When I'm not using the Leica M11, it makes me want to use it. And when I'm out shooting photos, it makes me want to take more photos. There's just something special about the build of this camera that just screams photography. As for the actual images that come out of this camera, I mean, they're second to none. The other week I had the opportunity to use this thing to shoot my sister's graduation photos, which was really exciting. And when I showed up there, she was like, why did you bring your tiny camera? Why didn't you bring your big camera? I tried to convince her that this camera was just as good, if not better than my professional level camera. And when I sent her the photos, she was shook by them, as was I. When I was going through those photos and looking at the edits, I was in complete awe. Files are second to none, the same as a professional level camera, if not better. And that kind of leads me to my next point, which is this camera is really, really tiny. It kind of fits in the palm of my hand. It's super easy to fit in a bag or sling and just take anywhere with you. It also has that sleek Leica design, and I think it feels very minimal. And unless you know about the Leica system, nobody really knows what this camera is out in public. So I'm not worried about it as much as like my Sony or a Canon or something like that. Last thing I love about this camera is the minimal features. And I know that's kind of like a backwards thing to love about a camera because nowadays it's all about how many features you can fit into a camera. But this thing really makes photo taking simple. All I have to worry about is the shutter, the aperture and the ISO, just like film. I feel like I have a lot more creative control. Briefly, I wanna talk about some of the issues with this camera. Yes, there are downsides to an almost $10,000 price tag of a camera. The number one downside is there's plenty of alternative options out there that are way cheaper and will get you to the close, if not the same results as the Leica M11. Number two, it doesn't have a video feature, which is actually ridiculous. Leica purists are gonna come at me for this because this is like a photography camera. But if the Leica Q3 is coming out with the same sensor as the Leica M11 has right now, why does the Leica Q3 have video and the Leica M11 does not? That doesn't make much sense to me. So that's a major downside in my opinion. I'm pretty sure they can just update the firmware and put video on this camera, but for some reason they want to keep it their photo camera, which sounds like Leica. And lastly, I would not choose the Leica M11 for professional work. I would stick to my Sony A1 or a Canon camera or a bigger body that it has all the features that you're gonna need when you're out shooting professional work. So to answer your question of the video, is the Leica M11 for you? To be totally honest, probably not. This camera is very niche and has a very specific purpose. For me, that purpose is to document my day-to-day -day life and everything going on in my life at the highest quality possible, but that just really doesn't make sense for most people. To spend this much money on any piece of equipment is pretty ridiculous, let alone a camera that only takes photos and doesn't have an autofocus feature. I try to compare it to a woodworker getting a tool for their shop. Only makes sense for them to really purchase something like that, but you're not gonna judge a wood maker for purchasing a wood making tool. So what are the reasons to buy this camera? Well, A, it's something you've spent a lot of time thinking about and researching. B, you love the Leica system and you wanna get into the world of Leica glass, cameras, and bodies. C, you're a photographer that's looking for a camera that's gonna stick with you for the rest of your life. For me personally, I got this camera because I shoot a lot of film and I recently saw the prices of film going up and up and up. With the prices going up, I was already in the Leica system shooting on a Leica M6, so I already had some of the glass and other bodies in the Leica world, so it just didn't make sense for me to go switch over to Fuji or something else. I thought it would just make more sense to sell some gear and then upgrade to the M11. And I also did a lot, a lot of research before purchasing this camera. I knew exactly what I was getting into. I kind of knew the camera before I even had it in my hands just from watching tutorials and videos online. I will say this is my favorite digital camera that I've ever used, and I don't ever see myself getting rid of it. In fact, I think I'll either keep it until it dies out on me or I'm gonna pass it down to someone in my family or my future kids or something like that. With all that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions about the Leica M11 and maybe wanna get your hands on one or just have a very specific question about this niche camera, please feel free to leave them down below. I get back to people really, really quickly. And don't forget to subscribe because subscribing helps tremendously and this channel is growing, which is so exciting. So thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next video. Bye. That was the closest I've ever gotten.